this. Pat, if you don't mind, can we get no, no, a play? Yeah, because it. so um, play what well, Ben can, Jones play. said, and then play Vivek responding to it. Yeah, well, we, do, do you have? Are we going to show Vivek doing the? Oh yeah, the response. Yeah, this is what he said. This is what Van Jones said about uh, Vivek. In the smug, condescending way that he just spews this poison out, yeah. is very, very dangerous because he won't stop Trump, but he's going to outlive Trump by about fifty years, and you're watching the rise of an American demagogue. She's that cute. is a very, very despicable person. Yeah. And I, I'm, I, literally, I, I, was, I was shaking <laughs> listening to him talk because shaking. a lot of people don't know that is one step away from Nazi propaganda coming out of oh his mouth. Gosh. Okay, like from, but, from an Indian, yeah. I can't believe that. Yeah, like, yeah. that's ridiculous. And, and, then, and then this is his response. This is Vivek's response. So I say that on that last debate stage to a bunch of Republicans that are shaking in their boots. These are the things you're not supposed to say in the Republican Party even today. And then you get the mainstream media. You got this character Van Jones on CNN afterwards saying, this is the rise of an American demagogue who's going to live 50 years longer than Trump. This is dangerous. I am shaking. That's what he says. <laughs> Just shut the fuck up. Wow. <laughs> I've never really heard of a better person. Yeah, 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 that's amazing. Just yeah. shut the fuck up. <laughs> wow. Now, now, hold on. I want to ask him. Jones Cole, I want to ask you, but we talked about this in the, in the prep a couple days ago, Patrick. Woody, you did it. You're not a fan of that. You're not a fan of Vivek going, like, as a presidential candidate, you're not a fan of that. I, I don't know. I think, <clears throat> I think there's a difference. Vivek's already making so many strides uh, on how much he's come up. Yes, you know, two days ago, he made the most viral video on, Twi on X for a single day. He had 150,000, 200,000 likes. That thing got 10, 15 million views when he's saying, I'm not going to be, I'm going to be removing myself from the Colorado, and I'm pledging and I'm challenging my peers, you know, Haley and all these other guys to do the same as well. Where's it at now? Can you, uh, 20 million views. Six, Look at that. 16.8 million views, 200,000 likes. You know, he's just sitting there from his, you know, uh, RV saying this. I don't think a presidential candidate should get up there and saying what he said. UFC, MMA, all the other stuff, fine. I don't know if a presidential candidate should go up there and say something like that. You know, I can see how it could rally a young audience if you're speaking to a private young audience. But you have to know everything you say, someone's going to see it. Yeah. In, today's, in today's climate, nobody gives a shit anymore when you're cursing. It's no longer what it was 20 years ago. So I get that part. It's been dehumanize like it's no longer as it's been desensitized than what it was before i still don't don't like him saying it you don't you don't like and and I, I, the only reason i disagree is because at what point and i know you're going to agree like enough is enough trump mm -hmm. is going to god willing for these 4 years but when he's done we this is this is our our next product i'm thinking of the future but it's like if he's a future it's like we the left and they're they're starting it again with him how long are we going to let them get away with it? Calling somebody evil. Let me explain something to you, bro. This is, what, this is what he said. And I'm tired of this acting presidential. So what's acting presidential? All the illegal shit that they do. I, I like it because think about this. If somebody said this to you, Kobe, um, you're dangerous, smug, condescending. You spew poison. You're an American demagogue. You're a despicable person. Dude, we've, we've hung out with this guy. This saying despicable, he's a freaking family, man. It's <laughs> shitty. And that he's speaking one step away from Nazi propaganda. You know what you say to that? Shut the fuck up. That's what... I don't least, think so. I disagree. You disagree, but... And let me tell you why. Go ahead. I mean, what you're saying will, will gain you some fans on what you're saying here. So it's a nice thing for people to say, that's why I love Vinny and da da da, da and make you feel good about it. Yeah. But that's not what leaders do. Yeah. A leader sits there and says, you could give the same message without having to say that on that platform. Because that message, again, I've been in a lot of rooms where I've gotten up and given a talk and I've gotten the, hey, bro, great job, dog. And hey, hey. And I'm like, shit, but I lost those two clients. Mm. And I lost that person that the most loyal person that comes with me, family guy, Christian guy that's doing this. Damn, I shouldn't have used those words. And if you're not, if you consider yourself wanting to be a leader amongst leaders, who are you leading? You're leading other leaders, okay? This is not leading other leaders. If you do it once, twice, three times, fine. Don't fall for the temptation. I just hope this doesn't become a <clears throat> this doesn't become a trend where we're hearing it next week 
and an interview and in a podcast and a this and a you that think and a this. You, you think he'd be a, a, a multiple occasion saying the F word or was it because TP, he was at the America Fest and younger crowd and Vinny, or just you've been around it. me. You've heard me curse. It's not like I Rarely. curse. I'm not sitting here yeah. telling you I don't Yeah. or I do. You know, when you first came to us, your brand was a different brand. 100%. When you were content, you were kind of like, what are you doing? Yeah. You don't need to. You don't need to do this stuff to make people laugh. Yeah. Just because because sometimes here's sometimes if you're not too careful, your reputation is what everybody else says your reputation is. And you stay loyal to what other people keep saying you are. And. That's a uh, it, it, you're in a, you're you're arrested. You're in a prison. You're in a what do you call it? You're like a, a spider web that's got a hold of you, and then it could be like you're the clown. You're the fighter. You're the gangster. You're the you're the thief. You're the bully. You're the this. You're the that. And you're like, dude, that was when I was 18 years old. That was when I was 32. I'm 45 years old. No, I'm not that anymore. You know, that's when I was that. And you have to find a way to not fall for that trap. There's an audience that wants him to say this. But who is that audience? The 2%? The 8%? Mm-hmm. The 13%? What about the other side that you needed? Now, we, you, 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 one time, fine, means you're capable of losing your shit. Means you're human, human being. Mm-hmm. Totally fine. If this becomes the brand moving forward, I don't... Trump said it a couple times on stage. And I like it when he said rarely, it a couple times. Yeah, rarely. I actually like it yeah. when he said it a couple times. I just don't think it has to be... Consistent. Oh, yeah, I, I, and I hope it doesn't become. Yeah, I, 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 I yeah. agree. What I'm saying is, though, think about what was said about him. I'm not going to lie to you. I probably would have gone even worse. But that's why you, yeah. you got to be careful, though, yeah, because course. if you if you're if you're trying to be a president, we can say if that would have done it to me, I would have done such and such. Okay. Before I have a daughter, my biggest fear was, what am I going to do when I have a daughter and a guy is going to hook up with my daughter and date my daughter and. I'm sleeping at night, and they're still at the movies. And as a man, your creative mind is going where? Yeah, of course. Think about that, of right? Of course. So first place you go to, I'm going to pull off a Will Smith, and, hey, you're going to come to the house, and it's going to be like, hey, <laughs> ba- ba- you like man? You ever been with a man? You want to, right? Yeah. You know, Will Smith comes out and is that with you. You know, which uh, movie is this, by uh, the way? Bad Boys. The, Bad Boys Bad Boys 2, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So Mike I'm like, Loud. I'm going to yeah. have to have somebody come out there and do you this with You're 17. Yeah. yeah you're like 30. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so are you going to, and then eventually you're like, well, if you raise them well, you show them love, you give them an example and, and they get to choose, they're going to have their heart broken at some point or another. You have to kind of work with that. Right. But if you want to be that tough guy, gangster beating everybody up for the rest of your life, your upside is limited. So yes, I get what you're saying. I understand it. It's exciting, but look at this. That comment he said didn't go viral, and look at this comment, 20 million. Yeah. You know why? Because this made sense. This made sense. He didn't curse one time. Mm-hmm. He didn't say any. This makes sense, and people listen to it to the point where he's cornering DeSantis, to, and, and he knows what DeSantis is going to say. Yeah. You, you understand what I'm saying? He yeah. knows they're going to go to DeSantis, and he's going to be asked that question, and DeSantis is going to say no, and MAGA is going to see it. Mm-hmm. He knows what he's doing. Do this. He can outschool his peers staying in this mode, yeah. not in the other mode. The other mode is temptation. Again, I could be wrong. It's my opinion. That's all I'm saying. If you see yourself as a leader amongst leaders, you have to pump the brakes when it comes down to certain approaches you take. Yeah, I think, Kobe, what do you think? I mean, I think, you know, they're pulling nasty things out of their playbook. You know, the things that they're doing, taking him off a ballot for nothing he was ever even convicted of. This is just, you know, not even a crime that he ever did. And so... This is this is this is terrible behavior. So I think the gloves are coming off, and there's no more fair fight. We can't be nice. We need to be stern. We need to be, you know, up front. I mean, you look at Elon the way he went after the guys that were pulling back all those funds off of X, and he said, "What do he say? Get the fuck out of here." Or, go fuck yourself. Go fuck yeah. yourself. You know, like I'm, I'm okay with that. Yeah, yeah. I'm totally yeah. okay with that. He's not running for a president. That's it. That's the know, only difference. It's different, you know. So. I do feel like you're probably right, you know, when you're in that political position, running for a presidential position, like, you still need to make middle America happy, and middle America, you know, they don't want people cussing and and doing those types of things, because that's not a good example for their kids, so, yeah, there's ways that he could come across a lot stronger without having to say that, so I do agree on that front, but we also, we're not playing fair anymore, they're not playing by the rules, you know, they've opened up borders, and they never will. That's our job. Let us do it. You don't need to do that. Okay, you know I was uh, I was on whose show was that guy?